Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy set itself apart from all of the other Jedi Orders in history with one revisionist move. That move was allowing marriage and attachment. Luke believed that the old Jedi got this all wrong and that attachment was the one thing that made the Jedi much stronger in the Force. This thought, though, was not an original one. Despite Luke learning from it from first-hand experience, this conclusion was already drawn by none other than Revan nearly 3,000 years prior. Greetings, curious acolytes of the Force, and welcome back to our archives. The light side of the Force is something usually very misunderstood when it comes to raw power and output. For most, when they think of real power within the Force, the wild uses of the dark side are what come to mind. But while the light is far more subtle with its use, it still carries a great deal of weight when used properly. Many notice how often Sith are much more powerful than Jedi, as Jedi are the ones who fall in combat when facing against a true acolyte of the dark side. But two of the strongest Jedi in galactic history have uncovered the secret to the light, the thing that unlocks its true power. That is, love and attachment, the very thing that the Jedi Order has outlawed. It was the opinion of Revan that attachment did not weaken the Jedi, but actually made them much, much stronger, even stronger than the Sith. So my friends, let's open up a holocron and take a look into what Revan believed concerning this phenomenon, and then take a look at the facts and see if what he says is factually true. The fact that the Jedi don't allow attachments is one of the most famous stipulations of the Jedi Order, and one that has been a topic of contention many times over, with lots of Jedi going behind the Order's back and having relationships anyway. Some even went as far as having secret families, and others would become stressed out by the mandate that they fell to the dark side if they formed an attachment, in a fear of developing true passion for another individual. Because of this, it wasn't enough for the Jedi High Council to forbid attachment, but instead, they actively taught their students how to deny and mask their feelings. This, of course, was another problem, as the teachings of the Jedi contradicted themselves with the very existence of the Padawan and Master dynamic. There are many examples of either a Padawan or a Master turning to the dark side because the other was slain, and if they do not ultimately turn, their progress is still impeded by their grief. Look no farther than the Jedi Padawan Rael Everos, one of Dooku's first apprentices before Qui-Gon Jinn. Rael had a Padawan of his own named Nim, who was shot with a slicer dart. This made her go insane and she tried to kill Rael, forcing him into a lightsaber duel. In the end, Rael had to slay his Padawan, and he never recovered from this event. This caused his sight in the Force to be blinded later on to a deception, one that ultimately nearly cost the lives of millions and the fate of an entire world. The point of it all is, the Jedi have it all wrong, which of course isn't anything new to say. However, the way Revan puts it spells everything out pretty plainly. Here are Revan's thoughts. The Jedi Order opposed attachments, believing them to be a stepping stone towards destruction. They taught that love begat jealousy, which led to the dark side. But Revan had seen its redemptive powers firsthand. It was his love that had brought Bastila back to the light. Their emotional bond had wrought salvation for them both. Denying or attempting to utterly control emotion, Revan believed was a fool's game. Jealousy was actually the result of ill-prepared Jedi being overwhelmed by feelings that they had never learned to face. Revan believed that Jedi could be taught to use positive emotions like love and happiness to strengthen their connection in the Force, the same ways that hatred and anger gave power to those that followed the dark side, and potentially could make the Jedi more powerful. Revan's insight gives us great perspective, as he is one of the rare individuals to walk both paths of the Force in the light as well as the dark. It should also be noted that later in life, Revan would even marry Bastila Shan. And just as Luke Skywalker would redeem Darth Vader later on through love, so was Revan able to redeem Bastila. What's most interesting is that Revan states that just like anger and hatred could be used in the dark side, that peace and love for others would be just as powerful in the light. The Jedi's teaching in the Clone Wars era revolves around focus, and while focus is integral in using the Force, it is not the true power of the light. Revan was able to now use the Force almost effortlessly because he allows his positive emotions to freely flow out from within the Force itself. But the big question, do positive emotions give Jedi more power? The answer is of course yes. 
A great example of this from the Clone Wars era would be Plo Koon, who developed many unique Force abilities including Electric Judgment, a non-lethal light side variant of Force Lightning. Plo Koon was one of the most powerful Clone Wars Jedi because of his reliance on positive emotions. This is the exact same reason why Luke Skywalker's Jedi are the most powerful version of the Jedi that we have seen in thousands of years. They use their attachment to their benefit, just as Revan talked, with the Jedi in Luke's order being far more powerful than the Sith of the time. Luke would also perfect Plo Koon's Force Judgment and create something known as Emerald Lightning. Luke was also able to perfect a myriad of wild and powerful force abilities that the Clone Wars Jedi were unable to touch and master. Luke used the most aggressive lightsaber form which was Gem So, but perfected it the way a Jedi should by using it with compassion and a desire to end fights quickly. Not only this, but it was also confirmed that Luke Skywalker studied the dark side at some point, if not for anything else, but just to understand why it worked. Because of this, Luke was able to take dark side abilities and create a light side spin on them. Luke stated that many of the combat abilities of the dark side were overkill, but by using positive emotion, they could be viable for a Jedi to use, acknowledging that the Sith were great warriors in their own right. In addition to this, Luke did not keep these dark side secrets to himself, and even allowed select Jedi to study them as well. Luke stated that attachment was not the enemy of the Jedi, and he wanted to focus more on the external threats of their order such as the Sith, the Empire, the Vong, and Sith spirits, not wanting his students to internally be fighting with themselves as Anakin did. Luke and Revan uncovered this, the true secret of the light side of the Force that made the Jedi more powerful than ever. They revealed that the Force responds extremely well to emotion, whether that is light or dark. To bring home this statement, I would also like to point out that the Force Priestesses, the being that guard the wellspring of life where the midichlorians are born, are the ones that guided Yoda and Qui-Gon to the secret of life after death. All of them manifest as five different emotions. Those emotions are joy, serenity, confusion, sadness, and anger. But we digress. So with this, why did Revan not present this to the Jedi High Council, even though he thought on it a great deal and Bastila wanted him to? However, Revan decided not to because the Council didn't like him very much. Revan was a hero in the end, but he had mostly just fixed his own mess. Revan was eventually even offered a seat on the Council, However, he saw through the Council's false praise. He knew most were smiling through their teeth at him while secretly wishing he would just be removed from the Jedi. Knowing this, Revan said that simply joining the Council would cause great contention, as the Council would believe that he was falling to the dark side again. Nothing he would ever say would be taken into consideration. It was clear that Revan and his ideas were not welcome in the Jedi Temple, as Revan was unfortunately ahead of his time. In fact, if Revan had been around in the Clone Wars era, he absolutely would have created the greatest version of Anakin Skywalker in all of the lore, the most powerful and righteous Jedi Master. But again, the Jedi were dogmatic, and this ultimately weighed them down and created Vader. Luke, however, on the other hand, adopted Revan's ideology and discovered it for himself, agreeing with it full-heartedly. And finally, for the first time in thousands of years, the Jedi were more powerful than the Sith. But anyway, my friends and fellow students of the Force, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts on Revan's great discovery, as well as how Luke Skywalker adopted it? As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching. May the Force be with you and have a great day.